Assalamu alaikum dear students today we will be discussing about uh, biomass biomass is an organic material uh, that comes from plants and animals and uh, this uh, biomass is a renewable source of energy and uh, we get these uh, biomass from the uh, forestry crops and residues agricultural crops and uh, and uh, residues uh, sewage, uh, industrial residues, animal residues, and uh, municipal solid, uh, municipal solid waste. These are the source of biomass where uh, we get this uh, biomass. Uh, but the question here is how, how the uh, biomass con contains the energy? Uh, we know that uh, the uh, plants absorb the sun's, sun's energy. In a process called photosynthesis okay and, and that energy is stored okay? that energy is stored uh, which the plants get from uh, from the sun and uh, when the biomass is burned and uh, the the chemical energy present in, present in that uh, materials okay uh, because we know uh, the uh, the solar energy is converted into into chemical energy uh, in 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 photosynthesis and that chemical energy is stored in the plants so uh, when when the chemical when this material which uh, contains chemical energy is burned uh, the energy is uh, released as a heat energy okay? energy is released as a heat energy uh, we know that energy can be converted into one form and uh, to the other form for example, uh, potential energy can be converted into kinetic energy and also uh, kinetic energy can be converted into some other form and in the similar way, uh, this uh, chemical energy can be converted into heat energy when we burn it. So this uh, biomass can be burned directly or it can be converted to biogas uh, that can be burned as 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 fuel later on. Uh, for example, firewood, agricultural waste, animal waste, uh, and uh, cow dung, etc., etc., are the examples of this uh, biomass. Uh, we also have solid biomass, and uh, we have liquid biomass also. Okay, solid biomass and liquid biomass solid biomass such as uh, wood dry uh, cow dung uh, and and uh, and garbage can be uh, burned and directly to to produce heat okay and and uh, biogas can be uh, can uh, also be converted into into a gas called a biogas or uh, we can call it as a liquid uh, biofuels such as uh, ethanol and uh, biodiesel this uh, ethanol has uh, many importances uh, which uh, you will study in the later classes and uh, biodiesel uh, can be uh, replaced uh, in, in in place of diesel we can uh, use it in place of diesel but um, we will also study this and it's uh, advantage and uh, disadvantage what are the disadvantages of biodiesel and what are the advantages of uh, biodiesel uh, so uh, these fuels can be uh, can uh, can be burned uh, directly or uh, we can convert them into into uh, into liquid fuels um, but uh, here uh, again the question arises uh, where does uh, how does this biomass uh, is generated how is this uh, biomass generated this this biomass uh, is generated in the biomass power plants just like the just like the electricity is generated from the hydro um, hydro power plants and uh, other sources uh, in the same way uh, biomass is generated in the biomass power plants, uh, which we will study uh, in the later uh, later lectures. In the biomass power plant, uh, mm, wood and other waste is burned to produce steam. Okay, that uh, that r r runs a turbine to generate electricity. We can also generate the electricity in the biomass power plant and by burning wood 
and by and burning other wastes uh, to to produce steam uh, uh, and then uh, we will uh, run a turbine uh, with the help of that and that steam uh, that steam to generate electricity or provide heat to homes and and industries when the wood is uh, is burned in a in a limited supply of oxygen uh, water and uh, uh, volatile material present in it uh, are removed and uh, we obtain charcoal okay uh, wood is uh, firstly burned in a in a limited supply of oxygen uh, water and uh, volatile mate- material present in it are removed okay if we burn the wood in a in a limited supply of oxygen okay uh, you have to supply the oxygen uh, to wood in in a limited uh, in a in a uh, limited supply um the water and uh, volatile material present in it are are uh, removed okay uh, the water is completely removed and the other materials present in it are uh, removed then uh, we will uh, we will get a, a material which is called charcoal but the condition is you have to uh, uh, you have to burn it in a limited supply of oxygen okay and uh, then water and other sources uh, other uh, volatile sources which are present in in that are removed and uh, we obtain charcoal uh then uh, we can use charcoal uh, as a heating source okay uh, but the question is how is charcoal better than fuels okay now how is biomass a renewable source of energy um we have studied that uh, this is a renewable source of energy how uh because of the following two reasons okay uh, first waste redu- uh, residues will al- always exist as forest resources uh, scrap wood animal waste etc okay we will uh, always get get these uh, waste as forest crops and residues uh, residues we will uh, always get this uh, and agriculture waste is, um, it's always present in the environment uh, sewage is also present in the uh, uh, around us okay uh, industrial res- uh, residues will also be there uh, always animal residues will also be there uh, always municipal waste uh, uh, solid waste will also be there always so uh, we can um, we can use this uh, material to produce bio biomass and uh, f- secondly if the forests are properly managed we will always have a moat freeze uh, growing okay uh, additionally uh, we shall always have crops growing and uh, continues to to get uh, biological matter from from them so in this in this way we can say that uh, this biomass is a renewable source of energy and uh, let's talk about now advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, of biomass there are uh, advantages as as well as disadvantages of biomass in the advantages uh, it is a theoretically inexhaustible uh, fuel fuel source okay and uh, there is uh, there is minimal environment impact due to this biomass and uh, alcohols and other fuels uh, produced by biomass are efficient they are uh, viable and uh, relatively clean burning okay and it's available throughout the world in the uh, disadvantage uh, it could uh, contribute a great deal uh, to global warming and uh, particulate pollution if directly burned if we burn it di- directly then it will have uh, negative impacts on the environment and uh, uh, still an expensive source it's an expensive source both in terms of producing uh, biomass and converting it to alcohols it's a, it's a very uh, very expensive source so uh, let's let me talk about biogas let me talk about a little bit about uh, biogas and uh, this is a uh, biomass and it uh, typically uh, typically refers to a mixture of different gases produced by breakdown of organic uh, matter in absence of oxygen in a process called anaerobic digestion uh, these are the sources where we get this uh, biomass livestock waste crops 
uh, water waste and food waste okay these are the sources where we get this uh, uh, biogas and uh, in the uh, bio uh, biogas plant this is the, the biogas plant uh, we collect it here in the biogas plant and uh, in this biogas gas plant there is no oxygen okay uh, it is uh, here in absence of oxygen and uh, in in the process uh, these these wastes are then converted into biogas or uh, or uh, digested okay this is converted into biogas and uh, later on the biogas can be converted as uh, as uh, heat energy and it can be converted into the electric electricity okay or this biogas can be converted into biomethane uh, uh, which acts then as a fuel for cars and uh, which um, which can be converted into a gas a grid okay and, and digested can be uh, converted into f fertilizers uh, soil uh, soil amendments and livestock feeding uh, so uh, biogas can be uh, produced from the raw materials uh, such as uh, the organic waste uh, man were municipal waste plant materials sewage grain or food waste okay and uh, biogas is uh, primarily methane and uh, carbon dioxide as uh, as uh, may have small amount of hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide it contains about 70% uh, 75% uh, methane which is an excellent fuel okay uh, and biogas is obtained by in and aerobic uh, fermentation of animal and plant waste this means that uh, here uh, the oxygen is not present and uh, this is uh, these wastes are converted uh, into into biogas in in absence of oxygen okay in absence of oxygen and uh, uh, fermentation is carried out by uh, uh, carried out by anaerobic microorganisms here uh, and this waste is converted into biogas by by microorganism okay but that these microorganisms uh, organisms are anaerobic microorganism which acts in absence of uh, oxygen uh, in in uh, presence of water okay and uh, these microorganisms or bacterial uh, bacteria uh, decompose the complex carbon compounds present in the biomass into into simpler uh, compounds uh, and a large livestock population can be found in india cow dung okay cow dung uh, is a chief raw material for the production of biogas and uh, hence uh, biogas is also called a, a gobar gas okay because this uh, gobar uh, which is uh, which we call in hindi or cow dung is um, is abundantly available in india so this is also called a gober gas there is a huge advantage of uh, of farmers uh, by using biogas uh, biogas can can produce clean fuel from bio waste okay which can be then uh, used for cooking for running uh, two bells for uh, street lighting etc and uh, the remains of the biogas plant can be used as uh, manure and uh, it's rich in nitrogen and phosphorus that means it's a very good uh, uh, very good manure and uh, it's an efficient way of waste okay it's it's an uh, efficient way of waste uh, disposal as as a uh, waste are collected to to produce uh, biogas uh, we do not need uh, any any uh, sort of uh, uh, that uh, expensive material we uh, we need the uh, waste that are collected to produce biogas uh, let me talk about now the advantage of biogas and the disadvantage of biogas uh, india has a large uh, if i uh, talk about advantage of um, biogas india has a large rural and livestock population so uh, this fuel is easily available in india 
and uh, the efficiency of biogas is higher than using the biomass directly okay uh, if we use biomass uh, directly um, that will not be uh, as efficient as uh, we as we use it as a biogas and uh, it burns without smoke and uh, and uh, and no residue hence it is a cleaner fuel okay it can and uh, fourthly uh, the slurry residue can be used as a manure in the in the fields so uh, if we talk about its disadvantages on the other hand and uh, the system used in the um, in the production of biogas are not efficient okay they are uh, they are uh, not much efficient uh, no new uh, technologies have been developed to make this an efficient process so and there is uh, also the lack of uh, development or the lack of technologies in in producing this biogas and uh, biogas generation is uh, affected it's uh, affected by weather conditions and uh, the optimal temperature at which bacteria decompose the biomass is uh, 37 degree centigrade hence in uh, cold countries the digesters require, uh, require heat to maintain the supply of biogas and um, uh, it's more suitable for rural areas where uh, raw material are available in plenty as compared to steeds uh, 